Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return, return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in when it appears of white light, okay? All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak, okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is taken from them and returned to you as we speak, okay? All bondages placed in your path in your life by your enemies are removed permanently. All chains are broken. All evil plans are dismantled, past, present, and future. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So our oracle card for the start of our tarot reading, it says going forward. Okay. It says don't dwell on the past. Be focused on creating a brighter future. Manifest the new. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading really quickly. There's a download I've been getting for a while and I've been trying to put it off. But there's something with, uh, I don't know if it's like a secret society of people or a group, a, a coven, a cult or something like that. There's a man in this group that has some type of obsession or has still has some type of obsession with a feminine energy. This man was allowed around this woman. Um, what he would do is sneak into someone's home and drug them and like take stuff out of their homes. Um, someone was told not to touch a feminine energy and he did something inappropriate to her. He may have recorded it and was going around showing it to people, but this, he's trying to make it seem as though you and him, like it was done with consent. Something was not consensual. There's a man that took advantage of a feminine energy while she was uh, unconscious because of something he gave to her. He drugged someone. Um, and because he didn't want any evidence left, he, that someone sort of, you know, the word he did that to a feminine energy and he's been going around trying to hide this secret, but gloating about it at the same time. Someone was told not to touch a feminine energy. Like, it's like these people are in some type of practice that they do behind the scenes. And they were clear with him. He and whoever knew that he was coming into your home at night when you were sleeping and drugging you. Excuse me, drugging you. I don't want to get banned by YouTube. They knew, they told him not to touch you, even though they all knew he should not even be in your space. None of them should have been in your space. This is like you're around a group of people and you end up leaving them. And then he follows you because he has some type of sick obsession with you. This man did something to a feminine energy that he should not have done. I've been getting this download for a while and I had a premonition about it when like, they were sh like the spirit spirit was showing me exactly what someone did. Someone drugs, drooped someone, drooped a feminine energy so that he could have his way with her. And I keep hearing something about recording like he recorded it. So he could go and show people it was not consensual. This was to break. I don't know if there's someone around him that's interested in the feminine energies, like being with her. And he went and showed this to that person to make it seem like the woman that he took advantage was of was a part of it. No, she wasn't. Whoever this is was not. This was not consensual. Um, to a lot of you feminine energies, you need to start putting boats and stuff behind your door, like extra locks. OK, to protect yourself. But there's a man out here and this is not the only person he's done this to. He's done this to other people as well. You're going to prison. You are going to prison. OK, you didn't get away with it. I don't know if you thought you did. You didn't get away with it. He's done this before. This is someone's MO. He does this regularly to people. Someone feels very entitled to be able to do whatever they want. And this is because they've been allowed to do whatever it is that they want. It's like there's a group they are a part of. 
I don't know if they don't have like any sense, common sense or what. They just don't care. Like, I don't know if these people just don't care about themselves, about life, about anyone. They just don't operate on principles, but they will say they operate on principle. You don't operate on principle. There's someone in your midst. Since you all are into some type of spirituality, someone broke some type of universal law. You're, you're going to prison, buddy. You're going to prison. I don't know if he thought this wasn't going to get out. Like someone was taking advantage of someone while he had, like, drew them, recorded it, and then was going around showing it to people. That's how bold someone feels about what he did. Like, how much he's gloating in it. Okay? And he told someone that you consented to it. You didn't consent to whatever this person did. You didn't consent to it. Someone understands to an extent how spiritual laws work. Some people are not meant to be touched by certain people. And he's one of those. He was never meant to touch you. He was never supposed to. But he did. So someone's future is in prison. You're going to prison. There's no way out of it. You're either going to be going to prison or you're going six feet under. That's it. And ain't no way around there. And you're, go you're, you're headed to poverty imprisonment that's your future okay you walk around acting like you're this this is not you you pretend to be something you're not this is how you present yourself to the world and the community that you are a part of okay and because of what you did to someone this is your future this is your future okay Five of Pentacles, three, uh, eight of Swords. This is your future. You thought no one will find out. If the community that you are a part of is watching this video, they will know it's you. You've done this to other people too. Possibly people within that community and they don't know it. And they're walking around supporting you and don't know you've been going to their homes at night doing things to them. They, yeah, you've been sneaking into people's homes. This is you. You've been sneaking into people's homes and doing things to them, taking out of their home. They all think they're in some type of community, like a family, stu uh, a family structure with you or something like that. That you all are part of a family. But this is you. You don't care who you sneak. You don't care who you destroy because you're broken on the inside. I don't know why someone would think it's okay to do something like that. He's done it to some of you too. He's done it. What someone does is go behind the scenes. Let's say you were, you're renting a house, right? He'll go and find out who your landlord is and bribe them so they can get access to your home. And oftentimes, some of these landlords, they'll do it. Whoever this feminine energy is, your landlord give them permission to enter your home. Either the landlord or the maintenance guy. Give them permission. Let them into your home. Give them a spare key and everything. Okay? So while you were sleeping at night, he was creeping into your home and doing funny stuff, taking stuff out of there. Okay? And someone is walking around telling you, this is your future, sir. It ain't nothing good for you. This is your future. You're done. You are done. And the community you are a part of, if they watch my channel, they know it's you. They know if this is about you. Like someone has a sick obsession with a feminine energy. They've been told him, yeah, he finds you to be very beautiful. Someone is obsessed with you, but he, tell, but he uh, tells people that he can't stand you. Someone is very smitten by a feminine energy. He goes both ways, but he's smitten by a feminine energy. Okay, this man has been stalking this woman for a long time. Stalking her, okay? All he does is come up with ideas and ways of how he can get into this woman's energy. Something is not going the way he planned it to. There's some type of interference. This is all he does is invest his time into stalking people. But you all that are in that community, all you best believe He's been to some of you's home. I'm telling you, been to your homes, knows everything about your homes. 
This man started off doing this by talking to someone's ex. He approached someone's ex with an offer, a proposal, and the ex person accepted it. He gave them access to their home. And while you would sleep at night, he would come in there, going through stuff, taking stuff out of there, watching you sleep, all kinds of stuff. Someone is sick, sick minded. Someone is sick minded. Okay, that's that's all he does is invest his time in illusions. Okay, illusions. Doing devious things. Someone someone watches you. Either he was watching you before or he's still watching you now. Someone is still stalking, I believe. He was told to stop doing something, but he's still doing it. They told him to leave you alone. He's still on your tail. Okay, you need to be cautious, ladies. Nothing good is coming out about this man. Someone may have some type of disease they're not able to recover from. And he hides this. This man has a disease that he's hiding from other people. He has some type of mental imbalance as well. And he hides this. Someone comes across as very intellectual, very well put together. Okay, someone is nothing but a fraud walking the face of the earth. A little boy that refuses to heal. I'm telling you. This came out in the reverse. Someone pays people to get access to other people's lives. That's all he does. He may not be able to do it anymore. There's some type of interference or hindrance going on in his life. Okay. But someone is very vain. Uh-huh. Very vain. Very irresponsible. Spends recklessly. Someone is in a lot of debt. A whole lot of debt. But this is the one that will act like he has all the money in the world. I'm telling you, he's going through an ending. Debt. Someone has lost everything. But he's still pretending like he has a whole lot of money. This man don't got no money. Someone may be even going through bankruptcy. He's going through a tower. Could be going through a divorce. I'm telling you. You see this here? Heartbreak. Tower. Someone could be going through a divorce. Spassing out behind the scenes. Maybe his deeds are being brought to the surface. People are, have, are waking up to what he is, what he does, how he operates. They finally know what he is. Because when you see this person, this is how he presents himself. He acts like he's in the upright. This is not him. Someone is nothing but a fraud. Walking around. He's learned how to master the, the art of deceit. And he's going to have to walk away from you. You that he's obsessed with. Because everybody knows what he's done. Someone committed some type of spiritual crime. The moment he touched you, he committed a crime. The moment he entered your home without your permission, he committed a crime. Someone is about to be binded in legal trouble that he cannot get out of. This is someone that's used to people being able to bail him out. He feels that he's well connected in the justice system. But ain't no way out of this one, brother. Ain't no way out of it. You got a long and hard road ahead, ahead, uh, ahead of you. There is no way out of this. Okay? Oh, yeah. There is no way out of this. The Three of Swords is affirming that. It is reiterating this to you. There is no way out of this. Okay? What does it say? Strive, turmoil, loss misunderstandings, pain, heartbreak, disappointments, I mean, storms of emotions, so on and so forth. And this truth here being exposed is, is going to cause a tower in a community because they didn't know what this man was doing. They all thought they were just doing like petty stuff. Nah, 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 nah. Someone broke a law. Someone committed a crime. Someone invaded people's privacy. Some of you too. So while you were sitting and trying to hinder other people's future, people are out here trying to manifest their own futures, build their lives. But you are out here trying to cause hindrances 
the very people you're working with have been doing the same to you, invading your privacy, doing inappropriate things to you. And you don't remember when you wake up in the morning because someone drooped you and you're walking around like you don't, like, like, like nothing ever happened because you don't remember. Someone has been doing this for years. It's what I'm tell, I'm, I'm being told for years. Uh, this is someone that's either married, has a wife, but lives with every and anything. And he had an obsession with you and he had to get his kink out. They told him, do not touch her. Whatever you do, I don't know why. I don't even think it's that they let this man in. They knew this man was coming into your home. I don't know. Maybe some of them knew, some of them didn't know. But this man, when he started stalking you, coming after you, trying to cause you problems, they told this man, whatever you do, do not touch her. Whether that's figuratively, spiritually, physically, they made it clear to him, do not touch her. And this community is going through some type of chaos tower and they don't understand why that's because someone has been doing something they should not be doing so if you all thought something was over it's not over because this man knows exactly what he did he knows what he did so he has some type of cons confession to give to make so that you all can understand why you're going through towers after towers okay towers after towers Someone is sick minded, sick, sick is an understatement. Someone whose body and soul is sick. Okay. It is sick. They may want to come towards you now to make some type of compromise with you. You don't got time for compromise. That's why you got your sore pulled out because these kind of people, it's a special place in H E double hockey stick for them, but you know, their place don't exist, but there's a good thing that some people, their mental is set up in a way where they, they don't go, they don't transcend to a higher level when they leave this, this realm. It, they go to a different place because of their mindset. So that's where he's going. This man is living in fear. And this, this has been hovering over him for a long time. Someone gets a thrill out of causing other people anxiety. Someone is just sick minded. This is someone you'll sit across the table from, have drinks with and things like that. And that very night, they'll sneak into your home, take advantage of you. The next day, you two will sit at a table and smile together, tell jokes and everything. Someone is nothing but a slime. Slime. Okay? Someone is nothing but a slime. And someone has been walking around trying to figure out if you know, uh... If you didn't know, now you know. If you feel suspicious about something, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Rest assured, he's going to get his just due. Someone is obsessed with your life, I'm telling you. Someone is, this is someone that goes to practitioners. This is someone that studies some type of esoteric knowledge and things like that, but misuses the knowledge he's acquired. Someone is still stalking your life. He was told not to, and he finds you very beautiful, obsessed with you. Every aspect of your life, he wants to know what's going on. You may not even know who this person is, or you know them very little. You know very little of them. You aren't very well much acquainted with them. But someone has some type of sick obsession with you. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. This is the secret he's walking around with. This is the secret, the burden he's walking around with. It's that he feels, you know, in threat about it that he got it done. But then he's living in fear. Do they know? Yeah, they know. You're sick. Someone is sick all around. Okay? I'm telling you, he's wondering. This is all he does is wonder if you know. So take caution to protect yourself. Take caution to protect yourself, okay? Some type of truth could have been revealed about other things this person has been doing behind the scenes. <laughs> Man, there's going to be some type of chaos taking place. Someone has been playing with your own life, not realizing that that's what they've been doing. I'm telling you, 
Someone has been playing with their own life. Someone is very greedy, vain, shallow, very wicked, very wicked. This whole family, I told you, this community is about to fall apart. They could be going through this now, falling apart because someone is just too greedy and vain to get on the right path. There's a family fighting behind the scenes and it has a lot to do with money. A lot to do with money. They want you as communicated. They don't want you part of some type of, I don't know if it's a will, some type of business, some type of community. They don't want you a part of it. And they're fighting. These people have been going out of their way mm -hmm, to cause you hindrances. They, they're feeling to listen to their intuition. Anything, they may not even have that activated in them. All they care about is money. Money, 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 money. And because they're so greedy, they're into their intentions, they're not able to in, uh, manifest any type of wish fulfillment in life. They're not getting their wishes fulfilled in life. Because these are people that are just greedy. If they're doing any type of practice, it's because of money. That's all they do it for. Nothing more, nothing less. It's all money. People don't want you to be able to thrive in life. To thrive in life. They don't want anything you invest in thriving. While they're investing their time in being wicked, you're investing your time in being productive, healing, ascending, growing. And that is what's ensuring your victory. You're a planner. But whoever that man is, just know you're going to jail. You are going to jail. You could be friends with a Sagittarius, whatever, I don't know. And I really don't care. You are like the bottom of the barrel for people to people like me. You can expect to be receiving some type of good news collective from someone in the upright. Okay. Or your ancestors, your angels could, could give you some type of download. When you receive that message, that communication, make sure you take action and move fast. That's what you're being advised to do. Okay. Absolutely, you're going to be receiving clarity about a situation. You are going to be receiving clarity about a situation. You're coming out of the cold. These people have been working real hard. I'm telling you, communication again. Communication. It's a lot of communication cards out here. You got the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So something is being looked into. Someone may be having a hard time writing you a letter, but they know they have to. Someone is broken hearted. It's like there's a lot of truth being exposed behind the scenes and it's causing chaos. There's a whole family falling apart because you're going to be receiving some type of communication about what has been taking place or something. Yeah, someone is fixing something. They're tired. They're done. Someone is fixing something. They're taking action. And there's a whole family that's losing. I'm telling you, someone, there's a whole family that's losing it behind the scenes because someone is taking action to bring balance into a situation. You may receive some type of, I don't know, financial payout. Okay. And this is going to allow you to be able to move on with your life. Move on with your life. People, these people have been trying to isolate you because they don't want the truth out, but the truth is already out. Some people, some people are so dumb. They think the truth being out means that you are, you know, in the public eye, public eye. Sometimes the truth being exposed is just the right authority figure being aware and taking action behind the scenes to bring balance into a situation. So they can do everything they want to do to block you, stop you, whatever. As long as this one person has the information they need, all is well. You see that? So let's say my platform, you know how people have been, well, I tell you all that people are fooling around with my platform, which they are. Let them do what they do. Maybe there are things I say on my platform that are true and it resonate with some of these people, right? So they think every message I post is about them. So they hack my account, trying to block my uh, platform from growing. They don't want the truth being exposed about a situation. 
But the whole time, there's someone in the justice system watching. That one person is all that was needed. I, I didn't need the whole world to see me for the truth to be exposed. That's how dumb some of these people are. They say, oh, we don't want this out in the public, so block her. Well, the person that needs to know the information already knows the information, so what is the point? What is the point? Right? It's something like that they've been doing. They've been trying to block your victory, block your manifestation abilities, gifts. It's not working. You're still committed to your past. There's something these people have been doing. It just does not make any sense. It just doesn't make sense. They don't want you committed to anything. And it's a disappointment for them because you're still committed. I'm telling you. They're going to stay disappointed. This is a whole network of people. They don't left their community and went to other communities. To get them in the matter. Get them involved. They say, hey, we, we need you to help us. Block this person, destroy this person, do this to this person. And the whole time they don't realize this person you're trying to destroy is being watched. It's being monitored. You're being monitored. They didn't know they were being monitored. This, this whole operation, it has been being monitored the whole time. The whole time. So while you're busy trying to, I'm telling you, this community went from celebrating right here to what is this? As, uh -huh, living in fear. The whole time you're trying to block someone, invade someone's prophecy, yours is being invaded too. So your whole operation is just out there and you don't know it. But you think because someone is not out on the world stage that no one's going to know what it is you all did. <clears throat> yeah, you may want to think about that. Think again. Take a different path. Bring balance into someone, whatever situations you can. But just know that who it needs to know knows. Who needs to know knows. And there's no amount of money that you all have that's going to fix this. Going to get you out of this fender bender. Especially that masculine. That man, he's used to... Listen here. This is what I got on this person. Someone once upon a time had money, but they're very careless with money. Someone spends very recklessly. All he does is get drunk. This is someone that's just, they need help, honey. They need help. When someone does something, they have some type of contact in the legal system that can get them out of any fender bender. So they're used to doing that. What you did to the person you did it to, there's no way out of it. No one can help you with that. This is one of those situations where you do something to someone that you're not supposed to be doing it to. And something from your past comes up. And there's no way to get you out of it. So whoever has been getting you out of your fender benders, making things disappear. You know how the rich folks are. They can, they can honor life 10 people and it just magically disappears off of their record. Or they call them what? The... Uh, 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 influence a kid. He's too privileged to go to, to uh, prison. The, it's not going to be this one. This ain't going to be the, the, uh, another rodeo of being let go. Oh no, you're going to be doing hard time. Hard time. For this here. Hard time. And that judgment is final, dear. You are going to the penitentiary and you will be penetrated in there. Oh, yeah. Tell, telling you. Oh, yeah. This is the end of the road for you. So you may want to think. There ain't nothing good in your future. You're losing everything. 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 You're losing everything. Some of these people are he 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 ha ha in with you and they don't even know you've been creeping into their homes. They don't even.